Let's learn how to convert a number written in binary to decimal. Now, in just a minute, I'll convert a few numbers written in binary form into their decimal form. And in fact, the first one I'll start with will be 1, 1, 0, 1. But before doing that, let me just spend one minute to remind us of how we actually read numbers in base 10. In other words, how we actually read decimals. Here's an example. When I write 253, we know that 3 corresponds to 3 times 1, and that 5 corresponds to 5 times 10. And of course, we know that 2 here corresponds to 2 times 100. In other words, in base 10, when we write 253, what it actually means is 2 times 100 plus 5 times 10 plus 3 times 1. And I'm sure we're all quite comfortable with that. But in fact, we could go further and say that this 2 times 100 is in fact 2 times 10 to the power of 2, in other words, 10 squared. And the 5 times 10 is in fact 5 times 10 raised to the power of 1. Finally, this 3 times 1 can be thought of as 3 times 10 raised to the power of 0. Remember, any non-zero number raised to the power of 0 is just equal to 1. Looking at the number 253 as a collection of powers of 10 is exactly what working in base 10, in other words, the decimal system, is all about. And the bigger the number, the higher the powers of 10 go. Now, the good news is, when we work in base 2, in other words, in binary, the approach is more or less the same. The only difference is, we'll no longer be working with powers of 10, but powers of 2. So, working my way from right to left, this first digit 1 refers to 1 times 2 raised to the power of 0. The second digit we have here, this 0, means 0 times 2 raised to the power of 1. The third digit we have here means... 1 times 2 raised to the power of 2. And finally, this fourth digit means 1 times 2 raised to the power of 3. Notice that as I go from right to left, the power on the 2 increases by 1 each time. And so with those results in mind, reading this number from left to right, we can see that this equals to 1 times 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to the power of 1, plus 1 times 2 raised to the power of 0, where the 1, 1, 0, 1 corresponds to the binary number we started off with. Now, by all means check, but 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So 1101 in binary corresponds to 1 times 8 plus 1 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1. And by all means check, but that leads to 8 plus 4, which is 12, plus 0, so still 12, plus 1, which is 13. And we're done. We've just converted the binary 1101 into decimal. 13. Let's look at another example. Say that was example 1, so this will be example 2. Let's say we're given the binary 00110101. And again, we need to convert this binary into decimal. Well, just as in the previous example, as we go from right to left, each digit represents a higher power of 2. And so one way of doing this quickly is to start at the digit on the far right hand side, so that's this one here, and write which number that corresponds to. And the digit on the far right hand side will always correspond to 1. Then we work our way from right to left for each digit, and each time we multiply by 2. Here's what I mean. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and I carry on. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, and finally, 64 times 2 is 128. Now that I've done that, it's quite easy to convert this into decimal. Indeed, I just need to state that this equals to 0 times 128, so I don't need to write anything there, plus 0 times 64. No need to write anything there either. Plus 1 times 32, so I'll write that, that's 1 times 32, plus... 
1 times 16. So I'll write that, that's 1 times 16. I add to that 0 times 8, which is just 0, so we don't need to write anything there, plus 1 times 4. So I write that one, that's plus 1 times 4, plus 0 times 2, which is 0, so we don't bother writing it. And finally, we add to that 1 times 1, which I'll write at the end here, plus 1 times 1. And now that that's done, all we have to do is calculate. So that's equal to 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1. And now 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 4 is 52, plus 1 is 53. And that's the answer. The binary 00110101 corresponds to the decimal 53. And I'll go ahead and underline that. And there we go, that's how to interpret and convert any binary number into its decimal form. And that's it for this tutorial.